Welcome to this video on using for loops in Python. My name's Andy Ricks. In the previous video, we saw the range function, and that produced a list of numbers in a particular way. This range function is called an iterable. In computing, you quite often want to do the same piece of code over and over again, but with a list of data doing whatever it is we want to do to each item in that list. That's called iteration, and iteration is really useful. We humans get bored doing the same thing over and over again, but your computer runs on silicon, on sand, and that doesn't get bored at all. So you can tell it to work away on a list of things, and it will go away and do it. Now, the range function is iterable. And what we do when we use the for command is we indent the code inside the loop in exactly the same way as we indented the code inside the if statement. And the easiest way to use a for loop is with the range function, although there are other uses for the for loop. And we'll look at how we create that decimal loop that we looked at in the examples in the previous video. Now let's get going to the first piece of code. Here we have a for loop. It starts with the word for. And what it does is it goes through that list of numbers, range 5, which, as you'll remember, is, are the numbers 0 to 4. It's always one less. And it goes through that list and it calls each item x. Now, this particular for loop isn't very clever. All it does is it prints each of the values in this list. So when we press run, what we get is all the numbers 0 to 4. Now that's not particularly useful, but as you can see, what it's done is it's taken each item in this list and printed it. So we can go through the list doing a, whatever it is we want to do to each item in turn. But let's look at something a little more complicated. Supposing we wanted to use this x to do some arithmetic. In this for loop, we've still got the numbers 0 to 4. In other words, the range 5. But what we're going to do this time is print out the number squared is and the square of that number. You'll remember that star star means to the power of. So we're going to square the number. So when we press a button, what we get is 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and so on up to 4 squared is 16. What we're doing is we're using each item in that list of range 5 to do a particular task. And that can be used in all sorts of ways in your programs. As you'll see, it has many, many uses and not just with the range function. Now let's make it a little more complicated again. As I promised, I'd show you how to use a range function with decimal places. And all you do is you assume that there are no decimal places. So since I want the numbers 1.2 to 1.7, I'm going to look at the range 12 to 18. It must be whole numbers with the range function. And then I'm going to take each item in turn and divide that item by 10. So what I get is y is equal to x divided by 10. I'm putting a decimal point in there. And then I'm going to print the value of y. So what I get is the numbers 1.2 to 1.7. Now let's try squaring each of those. First of all, the code. Here we've got the same code as in the previous for loop, and we've created our decimals, and now we're going to print out the square of each of those decimals. So we're going to use that decimal value to do some arithmetic. And of course, the answer we get is whoops, something seems to have gone wrong. It looks like Python doesn't work. Well, the good news is Python does work fine. The problem is that computers use something called binary notation. 
ons and offs, ones and zeros. And that isn't the same as the number system that we use. And what it does is it makes its best guess at the number that it thinks we really meant. So in this case, 1.3 squared, it's claiming, is 1.690002. Now, you and I know that that isn't the case. But this sort of arithmetic causes errors in your program. Here, we're going to overcome this error fairly quickly and easily. I'm going to show you how in just a moment. But you should be aware that if you do lots of complicated arithmetic calculations, what you get is an approximation to the answer, not necessarily the answer itself. So, how do we go about getting the correct answer? Well, fortunately, that's fairly easy. We're back to using our good friend, an F string. So we're going to print y, comma, x squared is, exactly as we did before. But this time, we're going to use the F string notation to print it with two decimal places. So it's going to print y squared in a five space place, one of which is a decimal point, and therefore there are two decimal places left over. So when we run this, what we get is exactly what you would expect from the equation that we've entered. We've now got 1.3 squared is 1.69. This is how you overcome those distant rounding errors. You convert it into a string, and then, by the way, you have to convert that string back into a floating point. But we'll come on to that later. But in this way, you can get rid of errors introduced by binary. Thank you.